Hey guys, thanks for thanks for clicking on my video. I forgot to add this into the video at the very beginning. I was going to and I forgot. But anyway, I created a Discord. If you guys want to join that, the link will be down in the description. Also, please don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button and uh, let me know if you want to see anything else. Also, I've got some future content coming up that's going to be awesome. I got some more stuff coming up with the uh, one of the main guys with the new game that's coming out. If y'all saw the video for the new card game that's coming out, Dynasty. And I've got some interesting news about Retro Palooza coming out. I'm going to be there along with some guys from Freaks and Geeks, and we're going to be doing some major stuff. And that's probably going to be in my next video. So stay tuned. But here's the video. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about worlds and the top four decks that come out of worlds. Now, I realize that this video is just a little bit late. I didn't get a chance to make it as worlds was happening. I wound up going on vacation for that whole week there. So Saturday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I was not here to even make videos. I was in Colorado on vacation. But anyways, I watched all of it, got to see a lot of great mass matches, watched the finals. The finals was amazing. Um, and I got to see some of my favorite decks. Or I got to see a deck that put me back into wanting to play that really just made me really want to play. I mean, I've always wanted to play, but this was like, hey, I need to play this deck. This is the deck I'm going to build in real life, and this is the deck I am going to, you know, try and spend the most time playing. But anyway, let's jump right into it. And number four, and this is the deck that I like the most. I watched uh, Tord Rekulov play this live, um, watched his top four match against um, Shintaro Ito. Shintaro Ida. I'm sorry if I messed that up. Shintaro Ida, I think it is. Uh, but anyway, it's basically, it's Reshizard with abilities. So normally we play Green's Reshizard. Well, this Reshizard, after rotation, is with abilities, and it is amazing. So first of all, you start out with, of course, Resh's Ram and Charizard. Let me move my mic just a little bit. Resh's Ram and Charizard, you get that 230 uh, damage for Flare Strike, and then 200 for double blaze for three energies and then six energies of course is 300 damage and it goes through any effects on your opponent's pokemon so that's your of course is your main attacker you want to get one of these set up early game this allows you to hit massive numbers do a lot of damage early on and really take some big knockouts and then kind of late game you want to play you're there he's playing one copy of this heat tran gx and what this does is kind of like a tapu coco uh, gx but a little bit harder to use is burning road ability is once during or once during your turn this when this Pokemon moves from the bench to become your active Pokemon you may move any number of fire energy from your other Pokemon to it and then we're using it for this hot burn GX this attack does 50 damage times the amount of fire energy attached to this Pokemon so if you got six energy on there you're hitting for 300 damage and knocking out every tag team in the format that is what that is what this card is here for um, also, Steaming Stomp is good because it does hit 130, so it knocks out all those baby baby Pokemon that you know you just can't quite hit. But uh, and then of course we got our secondary attackers, which I guess Turtonator or uh, Heatran is a secondary attacker. But Turtonator here is a baby attacker. It does 50 damage for each Fire Energy you discard from the field. So kind of a dumbed down Blacephalon, but it only uses one prize, and it allows you to get around things like. Um, the new Caldeo GX that you can't attack with GX or EX Pokemon, and the Lola Nine Tails, the fairy one that, that has the same ability as the the um, as the um, the one you can't attack with GXs or EXs. I cannot remember. I just forgot. I just I just said the name. Did you not hear me? Um, it's the water one, Caldeo. I I don't know why I can't remember that. And next up, we have Victini Prism Star, and this dude right here, I've been playing him for years, and I've told everybody this in a lot of my videos. I played him last year at Dallas. He was a big time, um, just a heavy hitter at Dallas, and two energy does 20 damage for each basic energy card in your discard pile. So that means for 14 energy, you're doing two times 14. You're doing a lot of damage. You're hitting for, what is that, 270? Yeah, 270. Yeah, because 2 times 7 is 14. and then, Okay, yeah, 270. I'm, 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 I'm not good at math. And then we're playing a Lolan, not, no, not a Lolan Nine Tails, but just Nine Tails, the one with the Nine Temptations ability. And this one says when you discard two Fire Energy cards from your hand, you get to drag a Pokemon, your opponent's Pokemon, from their bench to their active. That's how you're hitting them. So basically, you want to get down, charge up a Reshiram and Charizard, and then use this Nine Temptations ability just to draw them off that bench and just hit hammer them every turn and of course we're also playing three Dedenne GX this is the new card this is the new Tapu Lele 
this is the way you're going to get things set up. It's just the way it is. You play it down, and you discard your hand and draw six cards. Super good. In this deck, you're not really worried about discarding things that often. Unless you've got a lot of welders in your hand, you're not really worried about discarding. And we also play Forge Jirachi. This is also kind of the new Tapulele. But does something completely different. Allows you to look at the top five cards of your deck and take a trainer card you find there. Super useful for uh, finding those welders or cherish balls or whatever. Play three Acrobike, four Cherish Ball, searching out those GX. Play one Pal Pad. This allows you to put uh, t up to two supporters from your discard into your deck. Three Pokemon Communications, because sometimes you need to you know, swap out something. There's no real way to swap to search for these basics like this anymore. So we use Pokemon Communication to get them out. That's how you get out your Victini Prism Star without just drawing into it, or your Turtonator, or your Vulpixes, or your Ninetales. They only, because Cherish Ball only searches out GX Pokemon, and that's all we have for as far as Ball Search right now. And then next up, the real spice of this deck is these Super Scoop Ups. Now these are hit and miss, because obviously you have to flip a heads to be able to use the card, but if you do, it just allows you to pick up a Dedenne or a Jirachi, and just get that threat off the field, you know, that threat of two prizes going away with the Dedenne. Or, you know, you need to move the Jirachi, they've got an absolute down on the field, and so your retreat is too high, you can't use the skateboard to get away. You don't have, you can't spend that extra energy because you need to attach it to your Reshi's Art or whatever, so you super scoop up. And this allows you to uh, get those Pokemon off the field and, you know, it allows for some pretty crazy plays. It also allows you to remove damage. You know, if you've got a Reshi's Art with a lot of damage on it, you just slap down a super scoop up. Hit that! If you hit that head, you get to remove a lot of damage. Also, we have two switches, giant hearth. We have three of these, and this is an amazing card. It allows you to search for two energy, two fire energy from your deck if you discarded a card. And with this deck, you're always have stuff to discard. Of course, we play one Heat Factor Prism Star. Being able to discard a Fire Energy and throw, draw three cards is just amazing. And we only play four supporters in this deck, and that is four Welder. This is the only deck I've ever seen that only played four supporters, but it works. It allows you to just burn through your deck really fast. You don't have to worry about discarding anything important, because really, there's only four cards that are super important. Play two Skateboard for the Jirachi, and we play 18 Fire Energies. Now, that's a little crazy, but when you get to discarding with Ninetales, and you start heat, using Heat Factory Prism Star, and you're wanting to build up the discard for Victini, 18 Energies is sometimes not enough. I just played a game with it earlier on Untap, and I got down, and I was one energy short because I forgot to make sure I didn't have... I had all my energies in my deck. It's just super easy to get rid of them and super easy to get them into the discard. And then you shuffle them, all, shuffle them all back with Victini while dealing 270 damage. So this deck right here is an amazing deck. And it uh, tore Reckliff, ran it till 4th. And he was beat out by Shintaro Ito with his Blacephalon deck. And we will move on to that in just a minute. But now we have the top 3. Top, or the third place deck, and that is Green's Reshi's Art, believe it or not. Um, normal setup here, you got the three Reshi's Arts and the four Volcanian. You really want to start with Volcanian for that flare starter if you're going second. And, of course, we have all the regular, let's do it like this, there we go, have all the regular, you know, other stuff. So he played three Volcanian, or four Volcanian, three Reshi's Art, two, four Acrobike, two Cherish Ball, uh, one Custom, or four Custom Catcher, one energy spinner, one fiery flint, three fire crystals, four great potions, kind of more of a healing deck than the ability one. The ability one, super scoop up, is your only healing option. This one, you're playing four great potion, allows you to heal a ton of damage, and you're playing four mixed herbs, which also allows you to heal a ton of damage. Play three, four pokey gear, one reset stamp, one giant hearth, one heat factor prism star, one Lysander prism star, or Lysander labs. This card right here is good because lots of people are playing choice helmet right now and it adds 30 more damage. And so you lay down Lysander's labs and it takes away the effect of all tools. It allows you to get those knockouts when you normally wouldn't. One Shrine of Punishment. This is for the pick and matchup. You lay it down, it means you're hitting for, you're effectively hitting for 240 damage instead of 230. And of course, four greens exploration. And one lucimine. This allows you to get back in a combination of two in any combination, a supporter or a stadium. Allows you to get back basically any stadium you want, like shrine or a welder. And we're playing eleven fire energy. So not bad. Standard, pretty much standard, um, standard greens rushes our list. It's um 
you know, I've played it for a little while now. I'm not, honestly, I'm not as impressed with it as I am the ability one. But it did place better at Worlds. And in the second hill, second hill, second place, we have Shintaro Ida's um, Blacephalon deck. And a lot of people said Blacephalon was going down, but we, of course, saw it make a resurgence again in Worlds, and it done really well. And he played three Blacephalon, two Hatran. This was the biggest... Um, this was the biggest one, biggest surprise out of all of it. With that Burning Road ability, all you have to do is get six energies on him. And with and with B-Strings, that's not hard. All you have to do is get six energies on him and move him to the active, and he can take a knockout on whatever it was that just KO'd you. So if you if a Reshizard pops up, deals attaches three energies, does 200 damage, knocks out the Blacephalon, they're now in B-String turn. So you B-String, if you have all three in hand, that's already six energies. Put them on your Heatran or... Put your heat train on the bench, switch into it after you've beast stringed onto your Naga Needles or another Blacephalon. Move them all to heat train, and you've got the return knockout on that Reshizard or Mew and Mewtwo Tag Team GX. Uh, it plays one Dedenne and one Mew Bench Barrier. And this is for the Picaron matchup so that they can't use their GX attack to do 170 anywhere they want to on the field. Plays four Poipal and four Naga Needle or three Naga Needle. And then one Naganatal GX for the Ultra Conversion. And what this is, is once during your turn, you can discard an Ultra Beast from your hand if you do draw three cards. So super, super broken card there. Kind of like Heat Factory where you have to discard a Fire Energy and draw three cards. This one you just have to discard a Ultra Beast to draw three cards. So you've got all these Poiples, all these Naganatals, and, you know, Belcephalons that you can discard to draw cards. Of course, plays three Beast Energy. Or not Energy. Beast Ring. Three Cherish Ball, search out them GXs. Four Custom Catcher, allow you to draw, drag a Pokemon off the bench and into the active pot spot if you play two at once, or it allows you to draw up to three card, up until you have three cards in your hand. Uh, four Mysterious Treasure. One reason this deck does so well is because it can play Mysterious Treasure. It allows you to search for a Psychic or a Dragon Pokemon. So it allows you to get out all of these because this new Naganatal is a Dragon. And then you've got the Poipuls, which are, of course, Psychic. And then you've got Cherish Ball for your GXs. So that is one reason this deck does so well because it does have consistent search. Because that's one thing a lot of the other decks are missing is, is the consistency there. Plays one Reset Stamp, one Heat Factory, two Ultra Space. This also allows you to get almost every card out of your deck except for for the Dene, Heatran, and the Mew. So also, like I said, good search. For Cynthia, shuffle your hand in your deck and draw six cards. And then one Hapu. And this is a new one that came out with the Unified Minds list. And just look at the top six cards of your deck, put two of them into your hand, and discard the other cards. So you get to look at six, put two in your hand, and then the rest go into the discard. Four cards go in the discard pile. But it allows you to search through a lot of your deck while taking some really good cards. Plays one Lily because you can beat a turn one Lily. Um, plays four Welder because who doesn't want to attach two more Fire Energy cards from their hand? One B-String, special, um, special energy, provides colorless energy. When it's, when it's attached to an Ultra Beast, it provides every type of energy but only provides one energy this attack the attacks of the ultra beast this is attached to does 30 more damage that's one reason this card is so good it can be fire metal psychic doesn't matter and it adds 30 extra damage to that pokemon he plays 14 fire energy and one psychic energy and that psychic energy is for this naganatal right here this venom shot discard two energy from this pokemon this attack does 170 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. So super good for getting rid of, say, that Dedenne that's only got 160 HP on the bench. Really good for stuff like that. So this is the, the second place Worlds deck. And next up, we have the first place, if I can find it, and what he named Perfection. Now this guy, uh, Henry, can't remember his last name. Henry Brand, I want to say? Henry Brand? Maybe not. Maybe not. Don't want to get that wrong. But uh, Henry, he played this deck. Uh, it was a super, I watched the finals, super good deck, super consistent. He got his attacks off every turn, and it all revolves around Mewtwo and Mew Tag Team GX. 270 HP, the ability perfection. This Pokemon can use the attacks of any Pokemon GX or EX on your bench or in your discard pile. He never even used this Miraculous Duo GX. If this Pokemon has at least one extra energy attached to it, heal all damage from all your Pokemon. He never even used that. And what this does is it allows you to use any attack from all of these Pokemon up here. So you have Naganatal GX, you can attach an energy, Welder, 
and then attach another fire energy and you can use Venom Shot. And this thing right here can just be in the discard pile. Same for Reshiram and Charizard, you can use any of his attacks. Same for Macargo GX, you can use any of his attacks. Dedene, you're not going to use Dedene because Dedene has terrible attacks, but this allows you to draw six cards while discarding bad ones from your hand. Say, Naganatal or Macargo because you don't even have the evolution line of these guys. He also plays one Cabalion, a lot of people are asking him, and it's for that Iron Rule GX. During your opponent's next turn, their Pokemon can't attack. So basically, this just allows for them to, for him to stall. You know, if he has a really bad hand, he can just say, hey, I'm going to Iron Rule, and then it's for a colorless, so you're not even going to, uh, you're not even going to care what kind of energy you attach to him. He's like, I'm going to Iron Rule, and then you can't attack me next turn, so it allows me to set up, and maybe I can get a n big knockout next turn. He also plays Espeon and Deoxys Tag Team GX, and this is basically for this Cross Divide GX. Put dam 10 damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon any way you like. If this Pokemon has at least three extra energies attached to it, put 20 damage counters on them instead. And what this means is it does 200 damage to the bench for six energies. Yes, for six energies. It allows you to just completely annihilate Malamar decks. So they're setting up, they've got these, um, the Malamar on the bench. They've got a couple Malamar. They've got a, um, you know, say Garatina, something like that. You can just spread this damage around and completely wipe out their Malamar line. And there's basically no way they can recover from that. Since we lost Rescue Stretcher and stuff like that. And he also played one Jirachi GX. And this one is for this Psychic Zac Zone. Don't apply Psychic Weakness when, when Pokemon, both yours and your opponents, take damage from attacks. So basically it means that he can go up against Malamar list and they will not be able to get a one-hit KO unless they knock out this Jirachi GX first. He is also playing one Latios GX, and this is if you have the Power Bind ability is terrible. If you ha you if you have four or fewer Pokemon in play, this Pokemon can't attack, so it's terrible. But if it's in your discard pile, you can use its attack with the Mew to a Mew GX, and it's Tag Purge, and it does 120 damage. But the good part is, is during your opponent's next turn, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by Tag Team Pokemon. So basically, you hit into a Reshizard for 120 damage, and they can't attack you back because of that ability or because of the wording on that uh, tag purge right there unless of course they have six energies and they hit you for 300 because that allows them to go straight through that uh three extra energies allows them to go through any effect on any pokemon but most case scenario they are not going to be able to hit you because of tag purge it pretty much shuts down uh pickerom because pickerom can't hit it doesn't have anything that allows you to go through other pokemon's abilities but it's it's a super busted card. Playing the card on its own, terrible. No way to do that. You have to have a full bench every time. You're going to get knocked out at some point, and you're going to struggle to find Pokemon. But playing it with Mew and Mewtwo, it allows you to use it whether it's on the bench or in the discard. It doesn't really matter. And he was also playing one Marshadow, and this is one of the resetting hole. It allows you to get rid of any stadium card that's in play. So it allows you to get rid of those Prism Star cards that you normally can't get rid of with like a field blower or something like that you need a stadium bump well with this guy all you got to do lay him down and resetting hole and get rid of it also it has a good attack red knuckles does 10 damage if your opponent's active pokemon is an ultra beast it does 60 more damage so 60 70 damage and if he's weak it's 140 so really good against certain certain pokemon in certain times he actually played this um it was super good. It was super good. Super fun. Uh, next up, we have four Acrobike, three Cherish Ball, four Custom Catcher. We already know what those do. He plays one Electromagnetic Radar. This thing right here, everybody's like, why is he playing that? It allows you to discard two cards and search out Dedene. It's basically an Ultra Ball that only works on Dedene. But with this deck, you're needing to discard so much stuff anyway that you might as well play it. There's no real downside. Plays one Fire Crystal because this is a Welder Engine. Three Mysterious Treasure, most of his Pokemon here are Psychic, and he plays uh, four Pokegear, two Switches, three Giant Hearth, a lot of people are saying honestly drives me crazy, but it's a Giant Hearth, that's the way it's said, people. Next up is one Viridian Forest, allows you to search out your Psychic Energies or your Fire Energies, but it's mainly there for the Psychic. Two Bills Analysis. A look at the top seven cards. You may reveal up to two trainer cards you find there. Put them into your deck and shuffle the other cards back into your hand. Four Welder. So, not bad here at all. This is the main engine of the deck. Allows you to attach up to two Fire Energy cards from your hand. 
to any Pokemon and then draw three cards. Super broken card. Um, it basically means it powers up Mewtwo for any of these GX Pokemon in one turn. And then next up he has three Psychic Energies. And the Psychic Energies are for the Psychic Pokemon, obviously. Latios GX, Naganadal GX, um, Espeon and Deoxys, you know, Jirachi. I don't think you'd ever attack with Jirachi, but, you know, it is what it is. But, that's, this is the deck that he piloted to the World Championship. Uh, he's the very first Australian to make it, so super good. I'm excited to see how it goes. A lot of people are playing it already in challenges, and it just, it just runs super well. But that's it for the video. That's uh, all the top decks from the world, top four decks from Worlds. Um, I'm also going to throw out this Pidgeotto stall here. Now, this is a eighth place deck, but this is a pretty cool deck made by Isaiah Williams. And it's a, it's a stall deck. Basically, the, the rule here is, is you draw with Pidgeotto, which allows you to draw up to two cards. Look at two cards from, your, from the top of your deck, put one of them in your hand, put the other card on the bottom of your deck. And then with Oranguru, you use its resource manager to put three cards from your discard pile on the bottom of your deck in any order. And basically, this is all about running your opponent down, continuing to hammer him with um, Crushing Hammer, getting rid of his energies, and it's just a, a really fun deck to play. And you come in eighth with that, so that's pretty good overall. But anyway, guys, this is the end of the video. Um, if you like this kind of content, please subscribe, give me a like, comment down in the comment section, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. We'll see you next time.